So this is my setup of the S21 Ultra. Let me show you how it's done. I need some space to think this through. Call me on nylon. Try to give you hints. So it's pretty crispy, it's pretty clean. I know that you want to get straight into it, so I'm not gonna hold you up any longer. I just wanna let you know what apps you need to download first. So first thing you need is Nova Launcher, obviously, and then you need the black on black icons and then you need kwgt and then for the wallpaper just download that from the link in the description and all of these are linked in the description by the way and up until this point it is free but there there's a little bit that you may have to pay for just a few dollars a pound so if you can get past that you need kwgt pro and then orca for kwgt now this is kind of optional because if you don't download this you're only going to be missing out on one feature and that will be double tap to search so if if you want double tap to search, download Nova Launcher Prime. If you can get past that, then you don't need Prime. But you know, I just I would I would do it if I were you. Anyway, getting into it. Now, if you don't have the patience for following my instructions, then remember the Nova Launcher backup file is linked below. All you have to do is install it, and basically what happens is all of these settings automatically get put in place. But you need to make sure you got all the other apps downloaded beforehand, and that Nova backup file will do like 90% of the work for you. You might have to still do some adjustments, especially when it comes to the widget settings. But other than that, um, it, it you know, will look pretty good. And this video is timestamped, so things like the widget settings, if you still need to know about that, you can just scroll right to it. Pretty easy to find on the timeline. But anyway, firstly, I recommend watching this video on a tablet or laptop while you do the setup on your phone instead of all in one device. It's just much easier that way, especially because I might be going a little fast. But anyway. First thing you're gonna do is install the wallpaper link in the description, then open up Nova Launcher. Now you're gonna need Nova Launcher Prime for one feature, and I'll tell you what that feature is later, but you know, it's not super necessary. But anyway, Nova Launcher's open, put it in dark mode, and then get the app drawer for swipe up. You don't need the, the icon, that's, you know, you don't need that. Now, remove everything from the home screen, go into settings, and then we're gonna go into look and feel. Now if I'm going too fast here, just hit pause or slow down the video but I'll try and keep it at a reasonable speed. Now, go into icon style, icon theme, and choose the black on black icons that we downloaded. Then, head back, press tick auto gen, and choose the circular icons and tick adaptive icon animation. Now once you've done that, go back into the main look and feel, go into app search background color, all right, and then choose the color. The color is 0A, 0A, 0A. Should get you a nice dark color. Then, you're still in look and feel, head down to search window corner radius and make sure it's on 16 dp. Then, tick dark icons. All of this is in look and feel. Now we're done with look and feel, head out of that and then head into the home screen. So now that we're in the home screen settings, we're going to go into desktop grid and we're going to make the grid 9 by 5. Then, once you've done that, head back into the main home screen settings, go into icon layout and make sure the size of the icons are 105% and that the labels are off. Then, back in the home screen, go into padding and make it none by large. Now, still within the home screen settings, we're going to scroll to search bar placement and we're going to make sure it's none. Then we're going to scroll down to page indicator and then choose the three dots and then we will change the color to 303030. That's 303030. Now, we're going to head into the dock. Now, once we're in the dock, just first off, you want it to be enabled. Then you're going to make the dock icons 5 and then head into the icon layout. Have it match the desktop size with labels off. Then head back into the dock, go into padding and make it large by large. And then go into dock background and make the transparency 100%. Now, that's the home screen settings done. Now, head back into the main settings area and then go into app drawer. The grid is 6x4, do that. Then, head into icon layout, have it match desktop size and have the labels off. Then, within the main app drawer settings, go into background color and make it 0F, 0F, 0F. And have the transparency at 0%. Now, go into top bar and choose search bar. Then, head into search bar style and choose the round sides. 
choose the magnifying glass and then with the color you want it to be 1f 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 and then head back into the main app drawer settings and then tick swipe to open slash close and untick swipe indicator go into the scroll accent color and choose the color to be 1f 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 and then I recommend that you hide the apps that are not following the icon pack theme because this icon pack doesn't have a super large number of apps so it may mess with your look now you can still get the icons that come back up when you go into the search but for the sake of consistency you can remove them from your app drawer by just hiding them now I know I'm going a little bit fast here but this is why I said you should watch this on like a laptop and then do it from the phone and then you know just head into those settings and feel free to pause and slow down the video whatever you need to do but anyway that's the app drawer settings done now we're going to go back into the main settings and head into the folder settings now go into windows style and do a number of things so first thing we're going to do is set it to immersive then we're going to head into the color and we're going to change the color to 0f 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 then we'll select card background and set the transparency to 0% We'll set the corner radius at 30 dp and then untick show folder name. And then for the grid, you want it 3x3 three three, and the scroll direction to be horizontal. Now head back into the main folder settings, go into icon layout, have it match desktop size with labels off. Then back into the main folder settings, go into transition animation and choose zoom. Now, once again, back in the main folder settings and go into folder icon appearance. Choose a line, choose rounded, and then set the color to 0F, 0F, 0F. And then finally for the folders, just set the transparency to 0%. Now next up, we want Google now. So head into the main settings and go into the search and search for Google Discover. All right, download it, wait for it to download, press open, press install. And then once that's all done, head back into the settings, go into integrations, and go into Google Discover and you'll see it. Just tick it and then choose the dark theme and then for the transition, choose overlay. Now final settings, you're gonna go into the main settings and go into gestures and inputs and have swipe down set to expand notifications. So you don't have to go to the top of the phone every time you want notifications. Then this is the only feature you're gonna need Nova Prime for. So it's up to you, but if you wanna double tap to access app search, which to me is an essential feature, then you need prime but that's what i set it to double tap for app search now for the actual setup on the home screen once we've done all these settings head into your home screen and for the dock me personally i got phone chrome youtube snapchat and camera then for that massive widget that we're going to use you want to make a six by five widget so just get a kwgt widget make it six by five and then click on it and then choose the widget now the widget that we're using is orca 059 now you're gonna have to do a number of adjustments to the widget so it looks right and you can you know you can try and see how it fits the size but it really depends on the phone you're using if you're using the s21 ultra then i can give you what i'm using but if you're using a different phone you're just gonna have to play around the first thing you're gonna have to do no matter what is head into globals and change it to black and then change it to black so you got those two blacks and it follows the theme and it gives that nice look then go into the scale and this is everything else is only for the s21 ultra once again you you do what you need to do but for the scale on the s21 ultra 110.3 then head into widgets and then go into the position and set it at 27 and 64 then head into social and position set it at 87 0 490 0 then finally head into time and position and set it at 413, 0, 490, 0. Now for the second home screen, what you're gonna do is you're going to, when, you know, once creating it, you're going to create a four by three grid of apps in the center on the fifth icon up. So just count the fifth row up and then start your four by three grid of apps. Now I originally put every single app in this grid into a folder because the folder was dark enough to contrast with the wallpaper much better than the actual color of the icons contrasting with the wallpaper. But you know, you do whatever you want. 
but I do definitely recommend the double tap to search because it makes things very very easy especially for those app icons that we may have hidden earlier in the app drawer but yeah once you've done that if everything's gone as planned it should look something like this so yeah it's looking super clean super crispy super dark and I, you know, I know everybody's been waiting for me to upload this video on an S21 Ultra setup, so I hope I didn't disappoint, and I hope you liked it, and I hope you were able to follow along. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please, 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 please subscribe if you haven't already, and give this video a like and comment for the algorithm, because that helps out a lot. Check out my Instagram at the Romeo Nagar for a behind-the-scenes perspective. Everything goes up there first, so if you're interested in that, do me a favor and go check it out. And that is about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next one. So then.